Hi, my name is Kat and welcome to my channel. So today I want to talk about reading diversely in fiction because no one ever said that diversity was a bad thing except for the entirety of human history. Yeah. I will be doing another video um, about reading diversely in non-fiction, but for now let's just get into it. The first book I want to talk about is Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie and yes, I did have to practice that multiple times before filming this video. This is about two Nigerians who leave Nigeria for an extended period of time, one of whom ends up um, on a fellowship at Princeton and the other who tries to make a life in England. Uh, what stands out about this book are Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's amazing observations about what it is like to be Nigerian um, in America, to be Nigerian in Nigeria, to be African in America, to be black in America, or to be conceived as black in America. It's incredibly powerful and it made me stare at myself in a mirror and address a whole multitude of things that I had never ever thought about before. The second book I want to talk about is A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Hosseini, who is an Afghani American author. Now if you've read any, any of Khaled Hosseini's work, I think he has three books out at the moment, you know exactly what you're in for. Tragedy upon tragedy, with more tragedy, sprinkled with the sprinkling of tragedy. It tells of the lives of two women who have very different backgrounds, come from very different families and social class, and end up entwined in a mess together and living the same fate. Its descriptions are lush and full of life, and by the end of it, I was in absolute, absolute tears. I began reading it on a school night, which was my biggest mistake because I ended up bulldozing through it and having to go to work the next day with my eyes puffed up and snot still probably running down my face and having to intake lots and lots and lots of caffeine. So I suggest you, you don't do that when you read this book, but do go pick it up because it is very, very good. The next book I want to talk about is A Fine Balance by Rohinton Mystery, which was recommended to me, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, it's set in India during Indira Gandhi's controversial reign, and some of the book falls within a period called The Emergency. During The Emergency, amongst other policies, uh, was the enforced policy of forced sterilization for what seemed to be the lower classes and the telling of that time just wrenches its way in your gut and twists it up. It's so difficult to read. The book addresses the caste system, poverty in India, corruption in India, the wealth gap, and a multitude of other very, very important topics. Um, but the best part about this book are the characters who weave their way into your hearts and never really leave. I didn't know if I would get to like them from the beginning. Um, it consists of two tailors, a lady boss and a male student. But by the end of the book, I didn't want to put their story down. The last book I want to recommend to you before moving on to my TBR shelf is The Four Books by Yan Lin Ke, translated by Carlos Rojas. Yan Lin Ke is an author from China whose books have been controversial in the past, um, but this is his first book that has been banned outright by the Chinese government. And it was also shortlisted for the International Man Booker Prize in 2016. Now, if you're prone to nausea, I suggest being a little bit cautious with this book. I was queasy throughout most of it because of the disgusting things that are described that probably most definitely happened. This is set during the Great Leap Forward, a period in recent Chinese history where Chinese government policies led to the starvation and death of 40 million people, despite the fact that China was exporting its rice at the time. And you have to remember that for those 40 million people that starved to death, there were 
double, even triple, even quadruple the number who were suffering on a daily basis. It's told in a really interesting way um, through the fragments of four fictional books and follows a re-education camp where intellectuals are forced to do forced labour. And as it goes on, people in this camp get more desperate, things take a turn for the worse, and it just gets darker and darker and darker. And oh, even thinking about it now gives me the creeps and the heebie-jeebies. But it is an important book, and I do highly recommend it. So now on to my TBR shelf. The first book I want to talk about is Unaccustomed Earth by Jhumpa Lahiri, who is an Indian-American author. Um, and I believe the book is a collection of short stories about Indian-Americans trying to adjust to their mixed environment. The second book I want to talk about is, and if I'm looking this way, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at my notes, is The Strangeness in My Mind by Orhan Pamuk, who is a Turkish author. And this is a family saga that is set in Istanbul and chronicles the changes between the 1960s to the 2000s, I think. I've seen it in bookshops so many times now and I'm always drawn to this beautiful cover of it. So I really hope I can get my hands on a copy soon. The final book I want to talk about is The Secret Lives of Baba Segi's Wives by Lola Shanayin who is a Nigerian author. And this is about polygamy um, in modern day Nigeria and family tensions and family politics and how people get along and don't get along and try to build each other up and rip each other apart. Um, and I've heard very, very good things about this, so I'm looking forward to that as well. So there you have it, those are my recommendations. Um, I think it's very important to read diversely because we need to recognize that our experience of the world is not the only experience of the world. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please let me know if you've read any of the books or are planning to read any of them. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you next time. Bye.